previous episode, you watched my thrilling tour of Jelly and Jalawal. Now, I'm going to Gua Ikan from Jalawal, so enjoy watching. My auntie is drying, I'll be waiting just to wear them Just like a waving flag, a baby waving flag I'm literally wearing a towel at this moment <laughs> During the rainy season, most of the Malaysian rivers remain muddy AF You can see the water color is kind of brownish, more like a chocolate or coffee color You can drink it if you want to, just be careful of parasites <laughs> and mugs this is gonna be my next stop. Uh, it's a cave named uh, Gua Ikan. Ikan means fish in Malay. I'm not sure why they would name it a uh, fish cave. Let's check it out. The cave might not look like Ikan or the fish, but they sell amazing fishes at the same time and udang as well. Udang means shrimps. Check this out. All of these are only 15 ringgit. I got one, two, three, four, five of them or four of them including some seashells calm mussels well only for 15 i'm more surprised because it not only has prawns shells but also have got noodles the soup and lots of chickens i wonder how they're providing it for so cheap if it were in kl they would charge probably 30 to 30 ringgit at least so this is the Gua Ikan, that means the cave, the fish cave. So this is the entrance I believe. We have the cave. It's very dark over there. Let me cross the stream first. It's getting darker. The more I enter, the darker it is. Slippery, take caution. And already hear bats chirping. They are hidden somewhere there. The nest might be there on top. We're still inside the cave. It is very, very dark. You must be the other end. I think too deep. I feel like I'm the only person, but some of the people should be entering here soon. It is so dark, my camera eye cannot see the darkness. The rock carvings, though, looks legit like an artist art, like their creation. God is the best artist. You see that middle finger, like pointing at that something down there? What the hell is that? Oh, more bats are coming out because they are distracted by the light. Wow. Haha. Uh -huh. Check it out, guys. It's like sucking the blood. And that is the other end of the cave. The cave ends over there. People bicycling and women. Riding motorbikes is very common in Kelantan. So they're building another new bridge over here on the way to KL from Guamusang. I believe this is Guamusang. I'm still in this place. And they're building a new bridge over here. And there's still a temporary bridge had been installed. So currently crossing that very carefully. The river is green. The current is very legit very high and fast I hope I just survive and finally it's done I left the bridge behind I don't know you guys but I'm not gonna fly my drone right now right now for this place check out I'm flying my drone Obviously, I mean this is the only highway where you find less traffic. It's about like this 
the name of this highway is Gua Musang. Uh, when you go from KL to Gua Musang, this is the highway that you're gonna get. You have to take the toll free road in order to get this highway. Take the toll free, guys. It's absolutely worth it.